हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल गुड एंड इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी डूइंग विल डूइंग समथिंग न्यू समथिंग डिफरेंट फर्स्ट वी स्टडीड एंड देन आई टोल्ड यू कि व्हाट वी डू ओके सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स लेक्चर थ्री so are you ready all okay so we are going to start lecture number 3 chapter 6 come to the page number 58 yes chapter number 6 forms of business organization 2 in this chapter lecture number 1 we learned about the cooperative society then meaning and definition of cooperative society and then characteristics of cooperative society so there are total 11 characteristics of cooperative society first one voluntarily association second one easy formation process third equality of members fourth separate identity fifth democratic management sixth main motive of service seven fair distribution of profit 8 low price of share 9 voting right per share 10 separate institutions form from politics and religion and 11 and the last one is unrestricted number of members so students here we just read the head points because in lecture number 1 we studied about this in detail so i hope you all remember that explanations and also you learned now uh, advantages so in a last lecture we studied the total 10 advantages and 11 and 12 will study it in today's lecture so first advantage is easy formation process then second one is perpetual existence what is a perpetual existence that means a cooperative society was registered as soon as it gets a separate legal existence from its member so Uh, legal existence of members and cooperative society are different that means uh, due to death insolvency or resignation of member uh, not affect the existence of society so society enjoy a long life open membership fourth one limited liability of members that means uh, in this type of business organization every member of a society is limited to share purchased by them then government assistance democratic management less administrative expense special class of customer strong competitors against the trading institution and welfare activities for the society main motive of this uh, business organization form is that doing the welfare activities for the member of that society and conduct a welfare activities for the society like uh, arrangement of a medical diagnosis camp at low fees or a free of cost then providing and maintaining service of dispensary school garden etc but only for the members of their group then 11 is the training school for democracy so democracy predominate in the management of the society then the significant that means important is given to human begin rather than capital see in this type of organization a mostly significance given to the human beings not the capital and in other kind of uh, organization like partnership sole proprietorship company so at their uh, importance given to the capital and in a cooperative society significance is given to human beings rather than capital democracy remain alive as the significance of members in maintain and the cooperative society is the training school for providing education of ideal principle of democratic management that means uh, in a uh, this type of school i mean to say uh, this type of organization provide a training school for the providing uh, some educational related to principles of democratic management how to how to do democratic management how to continue then how to manage etc are the 
knowledge providing by the training school then point number 11 economic upliftment and growth of member so what is economic upliftment economic upliftment that means economic development right uh, economic uh, means uh, we know uh, related to money that means financially also so cooperative society gives a important contribution to a growth of its member for example consumers cooperative society supply a day to day quality consumer product at fair price see uh, we uh, when we purchase some goods from the market then we purchased by mrp or more than mrp but if we purchase from cooperative society if and only if we are member then that goods uh, provided to us with fair price that uh, means uh, a price which is below mrp but these facilities only for the members of cooperative society then others uh, econo economic benefits like uh, uh, prevent economic exploitation of customer by middlemen because uh, you know, when we purchase from market a middleman profit will be added but when we purchase from the cooperative society so middleman uh, customer sorry middleman profits is not included and that's why uh, we prevent from exploitation in the same way the cooperative society of a producer supply raw material equipments tools etc at a fair price to member so small producer can produce easily and can realize economic growth see raw material equipments supplies uh, sorry ha in the same way cooperative society of producer supply raw material and equipments etc at fair price so also small producer can produce easily and can realize economic growth then cooperative society have achieved much progress in the field of like sugar milk leather and raw cotton clear here we done advantages of cooperative society we just revised it one time and then we'll start the limitations of cooperative society so first point is that uh, easy formation process then uh, perpetual existence open membership limited liability of members government assistance democratic management less admin expense administrative expense means official expense then a special class of customer strong competitors against trading school welfare activities for society training school for democracy economic upliftment and growth of member now limitations of cooperative society first one limitations of capital see it is difficult to raise a large amount of capital because in this type of organization significance is not given to the capital but also given to human being so in this type of form uh, difficult to raise a large amount of capital so limitations of capital because of first reason is the price is very low then members belonging poor class and less attraction to purchase share due to is voting right per share then uh, second one is lack of efficient management how so first director of society who are the representative of the member providing honorary service they may not take personal interest in management and administration of society due to honorary service uh, see uh, any one person of uh, society uh, representative of who are representative member member provide a service but they not may be not sure and uh, not the same in all the situations may be take a personal interest or may not be so if they may not take a personal interest in management their administration is not doing perfectly and inefficiency may enter in management so that time due to lack of specialized knowledge business experience and time 
so mismanagement takes place due to groupism and personal interest but if that person uh, take a personal interest in management and doing good work and provide a perfect service then with the use of specialized knowledge business experience and time and given to perfect time then management is doing perfect so uh, efficient management is also important in any kind of business organization but in cooperative society uh, this one is our uh, limitations the lack of efficient management and third one political interference so various political parties directly or indirectly attempt to get control over the society if the society functions under political influence business freedom is jeopardized as a result democratic value are jeopardized so what is jeopardize you know jeopardize means put into a situation there is a sorry sorry large amount of loss or harm for us so if uh, society functions under political influence so business freedom is uh, going to harmful situation so as a that result a democratic value will be also be endangerous so uh, political interference interference is uh, also a uh, one kind of uh, limitations for cooperative society and the fourth one is non cooperation among the members see in this type of society a different types of person can be member and uh, from the different types of came from the different a religion caste also so that's why the no cooperation enters in cooperative institutions when there is a doubt discord conflict groupism selfishness among the members when this type of uh, property scam from that uh, members at that time no cooperation enters in cooperative society and at the result of that even the cooperative society in organization of individual with common interest it cannot get the benefits of cooperation so then the not the meaning of cooperative society if there is no cooperation we okay understood so here we done to the four limitations of cooperative society first one is the limitation of capital so it is difficult to raise a large amount of capital then lack of efficient management if a representative person i mean to the director of society who representative the cooperative society can not take a personal interest then a mismanagement take place then political interference so due to political interference uh, democratic value of a cooperative society and social society functions are going to a jeopardize jeopard and jeopardize that means a situation in which there is a large amount of loss or harmful then non cooperation among the members like uh, when uh, any discord or conflict or selfishness uh, among the members and that and due to that the result of that cooperative society organization still uh, with the common organ with the common interest still it cannot be benefits uh, of cooperation so we have done the limitations of cooperative society so now we just revise the head points of uh, limitations advantages and characteristics but before that but before that you just read the limitations of cooperative society with uh, a detailed information i'll provide you two minutes only please fast reading and then we'll revise the head point of characteristics advantages and limitations so your time start now
ओके डन सी फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ कंप्लीट रीडिंग ओके सो नाउ वी स्टार्ट द रिवाइज हेड पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी सो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी सी स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल हैव स्पीक विथ मी अ वॉल्यूटरली एसोसिएशन easy formation process equality of members separate identity democratic management main motive of service fair distribution of profit low price of share voting right per member separate institutions from politics and religion unrestricted number of members okay so 11 characteristics complete now advantage of cooperative society easy formation process perpetual existence then open membership fourth one limited liability of members fifth one government assistance sixth one democratic management see uh, then the seven one is the less administrative expense then eighth is a special class of customer uh, like mostly members are the customer and all the goods are only sold to them then strong competitors against trading institution then welfare activities for the society training school for democracy economic upliftment and growth of member so total 12 advantages of cooperative society and now limitations of cooperative society so there are four four limitations first one limitation of capital then lack of efficient management then political interference and no cooperation among the members so here we done the cooperative society full topic and will start the joint stock company in from the next lecture definition characteristics advantages and limitations of company and then types of company there is new topic but in next lecture we just doing uh, characteristics meaning and joint stock company so here we done today's lecture and in today's lecture uh, your homework is there uh, right uh, meaning of uh, cooperative society in rough book and right hard points of characteristic advantage in your rough book and right the head points of limitations in head point book and also write a limitations and advantage with detailed explanation in your pen note see students i again repeat if you are uh, right uh, detailed questions uh, with topic wise in your pen note then you don't need to write whole exercise because most of questions covered in topic wise question answers and then you can only write a remaining question okay so again i repeat the homework uh, write the head points of limitations in head point book then write the detailed question uh, advantages and limitations in fair book and write the head points and meaning of co write the head points of characteristics advantages and limitations and also the meaning of cooperative society in your rough book and please submit the homework and the uh, one thing new is that what i say to before uh, starting in this lecture ki today we doing something new not like uh, activities but just to say ki in next lecture i'll uh, declare the first five students name 
who completed the homework first so whenever you complete your homework you just comment in youtube channel so then i'll announce that name and other students upload it there i hope i hope he all students uh, uh, co will completed complete the homework and uh, mujhe confuse kar do ki mujhe kiska naam lena hai okay so best of luck for that okay goodbye everyone